Welcome back to the Fenrir Bull Terrier channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bull Terrier, and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Bull Terriers. So if you're a lifelong Bull Terrier lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Bull Terrier, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Bull Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll discuss how the Bull Terrier is in relation to kids and other pets and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for your home. Okay, so you're thinking about bringing a new canine companion into your life and you want to know more about the breeds that interest you. Perhaps you already have children or you're planning on having children in the future. Everyone knows that dogs and children can be amazing together, but there are differences between breeds and how well they do around young humans and other animals for that matter. Today we're diving into these traits in the Bull Terrier, so come along and see what happens when you put one of these egg-headed dogs in the midst of children. We already know that the Bull Terrier is one happy dog and that the energy levels in this breed can be quite high. A Bull Terrier, albeit not one of the largest dog breeds, quite the contrary to be honest, has a compact body mass, is strong and muscular, and when you combine this with that happiness and high energy you do end up with a can and ball. If raised properly, the Bull Terrier will adore the children of his family, but considering their sometimes rough style of playing, it may be advisable not to keep a Bull Terrier too close to the younger children, since their play can be too hard and can knock toddlers off their feet and cause accidents even if they don't mean it. Another important thing to note is that while your Bull Terrier may be an amazing friend to your own children, he may see your kids' friends as a threat, especially if there's a lot of wrestling and shouting going on. He may very well go into protection mode and could get aggressive towards other kids, which is not the ultimate situation. Situation. Therefore, if you have a Bull Terrier and kids, please make sure that their time together is always supervised. You should also make sure to put some extra time and effort into teaching your children proper behaviour around dogs and what to do if your Bull Terrier gets carried away by the situation. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. So if the Bull Terrier is loving and fun yet bulky and rough towards kids, how is he with other animals? Well it depends on how he's raised and how his genes come through. He's not automatically amazing with other animals and if not socialised properly he may even show aggression towards other dogs in particular. Unneutered male Bull Terriers can be especially aggressive to other males and this needs to be addressed before escalating. Again, while the Bull Terrier is far from the largest breed, he is very strong and fierce in his opinions of other animals. It's up to you how you handle this, but for your dog to be safe around other dogs or other pets you may have around the house, lots of training and leadership is required to make him function well in their company. The Bull Terrier should in no way be considered a mean, evil or in general aggressive dog because he is not. However, given the presence of both Bulldog and Terrier, he is strong-willed, likely thinking highly about himself. Add that up to his protective ideas and you have a dog who needs clear guidance and direction as well as leadership to understand that the rules you set up are not there for decoration, but to actually be followed. No matter if the rules apply to kids, other animals or both, you are the one creating the boundaries and limitation and it's his job to follow these. A Bull Terrier is an extremely fun dog to be around. He really is the clown of the class, but in spending quality time with your children, he needs to learn good manners. If trained to a good understanding on how to behave around your kids, a Bull Terrier will be their best friend for life. However, if not, you'll end up with a dog that can cause harm to children of pretty much any age. Therefore, it is of utmost importance that you not only train your dog how to behave around younger humans, you also need to teach your children how to be around dogs, when and how to stop playtime before it gets too rough. You should also make sure playtime between dog and children is always, always supervised so you can step in and stop any too rough playing between the two. Now, if you manage to raise your Bull Terrier to be that fantastic, perfect canine companion, training him to be calm and relaxed around both kids and other animals, your children children will have their best friend for life. These dogs are by no means whatsoever dangerous or aggressive. Instead, they can be enormously fun to live with if you're into dogs with humour and love of both action and fun. All you need to do is teach your dog that he's got much more power and strength than he thinks and how to channel their energy, speed and love for fun in a way that suits your children regardless of their age. Do that and you're making sure that your kids will always have a strong look for the Bull Terrier who is their best friend as a child. Hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new 
new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bull Terrier videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Bull Terrier channel.